All right, hello everyone. I uh, got a video for you today, and today we're going to talk about Bellabox in IRL streaming. Now, I'm not going to go act like I'm a complete expert on this topic here. I have definitely learned a lot through the years of watching some fellow streamers that have had uh, really good success with IRL streaming. So I will leave the links to those uh, YouTube channels in the in the description. One of those being Peloton is a person that I have watched over the last couple of years and watched his IRL stream evolved uh, through multiple iterations all the way till uh, the product that he's the final product that he's using now, which is which is the Bellabox. And then there's another uh, fellow IRL streamer that I follow, Terry Berenson. And uh, I know he uses the Live View Solo, and that was actually the product that I was about to purchase till a couple of other streamers convinced me to try the Bella Box. Now I went with the Bella Box uh, because after looking at it, it was actually going to be much simpler to set up, and that was kind of my goal was to uh, I didn't want to be tinkering with a lot of things. I wanted to be able to plug and play and just go. You know, hook up and I'm and I'm live. So I'm kind of I'm really glad that I went with that choice. I the uh, Bella Box. It was pretty easy to set up. Now I'm not going to get into the setup of Bella Box or anything like that on this video here. I will leave the link to uh, Irrational IRL and the Bella Box website, which uh, if you just read the instructions, follow, you know, watch the video, uh, you'll understand completely how to how to set this here. Uh, the Bella Box up. So what I'm going to do today is I just want to get into a little bit of my setups and what I do. Now I have two forms of IRL uh, streaming and one of them is when I do cycling and when I say cycling sometimes that includes racing so I want to be as lightweight as possible. Then I have a second setup which is has a it's a little bit heavier it's a backpack you know i've got my three liter uh water camelback and it's made for you know going out and doing some some long hiking or walking so i want to go through those two setups give you an idea what those are like so let me move some things around here apologize for the uh, crazy camera movement there i'm going to try to do this video here in my typical one take no editing so Let's move over to the Bella Box here. All right, apologize for the desk here. I've been doing a lot of uh, rearranging and tinkering here. So here's the, the Bella Box. Now, this here is not normally on this cocoon grid lock here. Uh, this, this here is made to uh, slide down in this mesh pocket here on this camel back. Uh, I think I totally missed that shot, so I'm gonna try it again. Uh, so there's a mesh pocket here, and this all just slides right down inside here. I think I missed it again. Um, so that just slides right down inside there. Now, um, the battery pack will kind of slide in here. Now, I do have another one of these um, cocoons on order here that I'm going to put on the back of here. So for now, this here battery pack just slides into this pocket here. And this uh, foam uh, or bubble wrap here is just to help uh, give it some more surface area so that it doesn't uh, teeter-totter around inside the uh, backpack. Okay, so here I got the Bella Box. The battery pack goes on the bottom here. I got uh, an AT&T modem. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not AT&T. This is a Sprint modem and a Verizon modem. And then I got the Cam Nova 4K uh, capture card right here. So when I set this all up, this here will uh, just go down into the mesh pocket right here. I want to be careful to make sure that doesn't fall. And then I take the HDMI cable and then just plug it right into the Cam, uh, Cam Nova. Now for the um, video camera, we'll turn this around. What I have here is the Stuntman uh, backpack shoulder mount and then the GoPro and this here works pretty well I also got the microphone hooked in there I can't remember the brand name on this here but I'll 
I'll leave a link in the description to that there. And then the, so this is the receiver hooked up to the GoPro and then uh, the microphone is over on this side right here. So that's my backpack setup. Now again, this is not by any means lightweight. Uh, I can use it for cycling, but I am definitely not gonna do uh, any kind of racing on it. So the preferred method when I go um, cycling or show up for a bike race is this uh, lightweight pack right here. So what I do is I just take the, the Bella box out of here and I just uh, slide it into this mesh pocket. And then I run my two batteries uh, inside here. And I generally run one battery. Uh, so I run this black ba battery uh, for, the, for the Bella box. And then I run the white battery for the GoPro. So a little overkill on the battery, but it's just my preferred uh, method here. Okay, so this is again, just a little bit lighter weight setup for when I'm going cycling. Now, let me talk a little bit about mounts here for a sec. Now, this particular setup here, this one actually works well for me right now. I am going to change this mount um, and I'll show you what I mean here. So this here, is a stuntman uh, chest harness and this is the normal mount that goes with it which is the same one that was on that uh, shoulder harness that I showed you but if you notice I made some modification and I actually got a, a ram mount on it and I ordered two of these here I got this uh, inch and three quarter one here and then I also got this um, three inch one here now the reason why I did this here is this here, in my opinion, did not give enough movement uh, for this camera. So as you can see, it's, it's definitely much shorter in its throw and its reach. Um, and then also, just this is just a personal preference, but um, this knob here, it is actually kind of large, but I actually have trouble uh, turning this here to lock everything down. So I like the, the RAM mount one, it's got a much bigger knob. And as you can see, it, just, it definitely just has a lot. I mean, this here is sitting at an angle and it has a lot more reach and maneuverability in what it can do. Now, the only problem I had with going with this setup is that if you look at the mounting for the stuntman, you have this keystone pattern on the bottom of the ball. And that keystone pattern is also on the base of the uh, chest plate. Okay, so those lock together when you uh, tighten up the screw on the back. Now the other issue you have is that the ball on the stuntman is a 22 millimeter ball, so not quite universal versus you know the one inch balls you can find all day long on Amazon. But now the problem I had is this one inch ball that I bought here with this metal base and then I bought this other one inch ball with the GoPro mount. This metal base had a flat and smooth surface. So what I did is I drew the, this keystone pattern on the bottom of that metal base and then I took a Dremel tool and just carved that keystone pattern into the base of that so that way it can actually lock in. So you could actually, if you look in there, you can see it uh, sets inside those keystones and it locks. Because if you don't do that, what happens is you, if you try to put this uh, smooth surface onto this base plate, that ball, no matter how tight you tighten that screw, this ball will move around. So with the keystone in there, it kind of locks it in place. Well, not kind of locks, it does lock it in place and it does not move around. So this is my preferred setup. So I got it the inch and three quarter length and I also got the three inch length. Um, haven't really quite used this here yet because this one here actually has all the maneuverability and flexibility that I need um, for what I do when I am doing cycling. So that's it on the mounts. Uh, let me turn this camera back around here. All right, there we go. <laughs> So that's it for the mounts. Um, again, uh, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not claiming in any way to be an expert at this here. I am a total newbie, uh, learning just learning how to do it, getting set it up. A lot of people have taught me a lot along the way. 
but I will uh, continue to evolve as well and uh, continue to improve my setups in, in what I do here and try to be of help to anyone just like all those that have helped me. All right, so that's it for the video. Uh, I think I did it in one take, no editing. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna go through the footage and make sure that there's no editing. So if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks.